From Facebook to DoorDash, these commonly used applications operate on user data, such as messaging activity or users' food order activity. Available mobile applications or web applications function with the assistance of a database management system, which stores and retrieves valuable data from end users. A popularized database management system is MySQL, which is a relational database. While MySQL is a popular product, a different database type is NoSQL, which means it is non-relational. There are a variety of products that are NoSQL databases. Depending on the application needs and budget, one database type will be a better fit than the other. Since MySQL was released earlier in 1995 than NoSQL's release, MySQL has more maturity resulting in more widespread community support. Due to its time maturity, MySQL has more notable security features such as encryption, enterprise firewall, authentication password policies, etc. And due to its fixed schema, MySQL is not as adaptable to NoSQL databases. For applications with unstructured data, NoSQL is ideal. An example of unstructured data is email, since the contents are freeform. On the other hand, if an application has more structured data, MySQL is the better solution. An example of structured data is an online customer store order. In this scenario, the database will typically include a customer table with the customer information such as customer ID and an order table, which has the order product along with the corresponding customer ID. To query for a customer specific order, the user will need to join the customer table and order the table for all necessary details. Subsequently, NoSQL deals with less complex queries like joins, resulting in the code looking simpler. Because there is no predefined structure needed in NoSQL, it becomes more flexible to store large amounts of data. On the downside, NoSQL's possibility of inconsistent data sacrifices data integrity. It is a given that MySQL is more reliable as there are regular updates within its developer community due to its long history. Depending on the application's need and its data model, there are options to choose from. NoSQL has four main data models, document databases, key value databases, wide column stores, and graph databases. Document databases, which also happen to be the most common, store the data in a document, which strongly resembles an object. In key value databases, the data, not surprisingly, is in a key value format. Querying the data is straightforward as the user only needs the key for the data. The wide column stores organize the data in a table. The graph databases connect the data with nodes where the connections between the nodes signify a relationship. On the contrary, MySQL has one data model that strictly focuses on organizing the data in a table format with columns and rows. Combining the data from multiple tables in a single query can be slow and it's possible to write inefficient queries that make the problem worse. For large databases, NoSQL might be the better choice as no strict predefined schema is required for the data. This means that the queries will be faster and more flexible, whereas MySQL requires a predefined schema and relationships are defined through different tables, more complex queries involving methods like joins are necessary. One possible disadvantage of NoSQL databases is that many products don't natively support ACID compliant transactions. Without separate code to ensure ACID compliance, this could result in inconsistent data or partially processed data, lowering your data integrity. If the application's data has more predefined relationships, it is better to pick MySQL as the database management system. MySQL is open source and completely free for the community edition. It has compatibility on 20 different platforms, such as Linux and Mac OS. While the classic embedded edition is free, the standard edition starts at 2,000 per year. The enterprise starts at 5,000 per year, and the cluster CGE starts at 10,000 per year. Some features that stand out in the community edition of MySQL is their replication, enhancing performance and scalability, their routing, routing between the application and the server, partitions, helping keep large databases performing well, and the connectors, allowing applications to be built in different languages. If the data is non-relational, there are numerous database management systems that the developer can choose from. Some of the popular products include MongoDB and Amazon DynamoDB. Both of these are NoSQL products. If the developer wants a document-based database, MongoDB is a great reliable choice. While if the developer wants a key value database, DynamoDB is a better pick. There is a pricing calculator on Amazon's website where it determines the pricing based on several factors such as data storage, write settings, and read settings. The pricing can add up quickly as the volume of the data expands, but it is at a competitive pricing compared to other vendors. 
The same goes for MongoDB. It is a pay-as-you-go type of service, and both MongoDB and Dynamo have a free version of their services. Although no SQL products were released later, they have since come a long way. Reputable companies such as Amazon, Google, Netflix, all use NoSQL products for their databases. For multi-million dollar companies, it makes sense to use NoSQL since they deal with a large amount of data daily. The two NoSQL databases discussed are pay-as-you-go services, so a company won't get charged as much until it grows. But MySQL Community Edition is the most used database out on the market. Companies like Bank of America utilize MySQL due to their many sensitive transactions. It makes sense to select a database with high security features. Overall, to find which database suits a company best, it all comes down to what your company needs. Thanks for watching. As always, like and subscribe for more and head over to TrustRadius.com for detailed reviews, comparisons, and software alternatives. Thank you.